vlog mess. Um, and I, it's like nine o'clock um, and I'm actually doing some work. Would you believe? I've got my breakfast, bit of Weetabix and some tea, my planner, and I'm working. I can't see what it is, so it's probably just as well. Uh, but yeah, I'm filling out a wee like reflective form that we have to do for 4 p.m. today. So lower deadline, great motivator. I'm gonna crack on with that and I'll catch you later. on a new project and I just wanted to show you the yarn that I bought from the shop before I like unraveled it. Um, so I'm going to be making a chunky cowl. <laughs> I don't usually knit with chunky yarn um, and actually the shop that I usually go to only carries one brand of chunky yarn so that's the brand that I've got. Um, it's from New Lanark Mills uh, which is a mill like south of Glasgow, it's maybe like an hour and a half, two hours from here, so it's pretty local. Um, and I made a cardigan with their yarn once. Sadly, I decided to get rid of it because it was itchy and I didn't wear it, but I still wish I'd kept it because it was my first ever knitted cardigan and it was beautiful. But anyway, <laughs> bought some stuff from them and I've got four colours because it's because it's a colour work uh, pattern. Um, and I've gone with some pretty vivid colours as you can see. I've got this orange, blue, green and purple. So all together they look like this. Uh, yeah, and I'm pretty excited to make them into a cowl. Um, my idea is because the cowl uses like two colours mainly, like a large amount of two colours and then a smaller amount of two other colours. And I think I'm gonna have these two as my main big colours and then these as my like slightly smaller ones and then I'm gonna use what's left over to make a pair of like fingerless mittens eaten each colour um, as Christmas presents. So that's what I'm gonna do there uh, and I'll maybe show it to you in progress. What there's also been some progress on which you might have seen clips from this morning is that I've picked up my star cross jumper which I'd abandoned, not abandoned, but I just paused on because I'd reached a point where I kind of had to do something. Uh, I often feel like I pause, <laughs> pause on patterns when I've like reached the end of the part that I knew what I was doing, and then oh, I have to get the pattern and then I just stop. But I picked up the pattern. I did, there was some like short rows shaping for the front. So I've completed the front. And I've just got some stitches on holders for joining, presumably, to the back. 
and I've started on the back. You can't see, but uh, there you go. my needles are attached. I'm starting on the back, so I'm pleased to be picking this up again. That's it upside down, but I just love love this colour work, it's so good, so I'm enjoying to be picking that up again. Also at the yarn shop I bought uh, two more balls of each of the colours that I'm using for my half and half prep because I only bought this many balls to start with, but you actually need double that, so now I've bought everything that I need so I'm all good to finish my half and half wrap. Slightly out of frame. And I also bought some little stitch markers, just a little yellow, pink, oh no, <laughs> I meant to buy yellow stitch markers but I've ended up with pink stitch markers, whoops, I might go, uh, have to go and sort that out, uh, anyway, got some stitch markers, um, that's good, yeah, I also have off screen a cup of tea and two different snacks, because that's where we're at today. Uh, I have a yum yum, and I also have a tiny bit of trifle. <laughs> so that's what's gonna be happening here, and I'm gonna cast on that new project, and that's the plan. And yeah, the rest of the evening, I've got an appointment, and uh, then nothing, but I don't know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Probably rest, I've not had much time for just like resting today, so. That's what I'll be doing, and I'll maybe send, take some little clips, but I think this is me signing off this little vlog for today, and I will see you tomorrow, perhaps where there will be slightly more energy on this end. I hope you're having a lovely day, wherever you are. Bye-bye.